Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look to Breakdance Builder. This is a page builder plugin for WordPress that can help you build faster websites. This is relatively a new page builder plugin that was developed just last year. It is done by the ones that did the Oxygen page builder and it's supposed to be very fast and it really is and it has a lot of nice features. So in this video we're going to install it and we're going to take a look of how exactly it can help you build your, build your WordPress website. Even if WordPress is moving to the blog themes, I think uh, it is pretty hard to develop right now on WordPress website completely with blog themes. So that's why for instance on my webdoors website I have uh, installed it and I am using Braidance right now to have the website done. So I already designed it with Braidance. So we are going to take a look of uh, Braidance. So this is the Braidance website. So Braidance it has a lot of uh, elements that can be used to build your WordPress website and uh, it has also a free version that can be used. So we are going to take a look at the free version right now and we are going to take a look at the premium one on my website. So this is their website. If you are going to go and get breakdance, you are seeing here that we have also free options that can be can be downloaded. The price is, starts from about $100 for one website and for unlimited websites you need to pay $200 a year. You can use this on your customer websites if you if you want to build their website. So to log in, we just go and uh, get started. And in here you will need to create uh, an account with Breakdance because you will need to insert the license also for the free option. So uh, let's put my email in here. Okay, let's take the free download. Okay, I'm not interested right now. Let's take the free. We go to downloads, and in here you have the three downloads that you can uh, use. I'll take the latest one, 1 1.5. It's right now. Let me put it on the desktop. Here you have the license key for this one. Also, the free comes with the license key that you need to insert. So I have an. Uh, website created in uh, Insta WP and in here to be able to install it you need to go to the plugin add new so basically this is a plugin that uh, it's added then let's choose the plugin so from the desktop we're gonna choose the breakdance and we're gonna hit install now and we're gonna go through the installation process we're gonna see exactly the settings and what it has to, to offer. At the end we are going to do a speed test to see how it's going on my website. So in here you see that uh, it brought you to the breakdance setup wizard and in here you have two options to disable the team which is recommended. So I'm using it with uh, disable the team because I'm using breakdance to customize the header, the footer and the other elements. You can also keep the team if you want to to, to do it like this. And in here we will put the license key and we're gonna finish the, the setup. So right now you, you install the plugin and if you're gonna check the websites, let's go and see exactly how this thing is looking. You see that you have the default team but you don't have any header for this. You have like uh, the blog archive layout in here, you have the blog uh, article layout in here with the comments and everything that you need to to do. So let's go in here and in here you can see you have the templates that you can create. You have the headers where we'll add our header. We have the global blocks that uh, you can add. You can create also pop-ups. With this plugin you have also options to create forms and form submissions. So you don't need any additional plugin for pop-ups or, or for form submissions. We have a design library that can be used to add uh, 
and import different pages and different elements. So right now this is not very big but it has the necessary things so to get you start and in the settings area you have the license in here you can have also the receive beta version updates you have the global style options in, in here but this needs to be configured in the breakdance editor in here you have the theme option to disable the theme that we've just selected for WooCommerce so with uh, Breakdance, you can customize your WooCommerce store if you want. You can create product pages or have layout and everything like that. Right now, uh, it is enabled. I will let it like this, user access. And uh, in here are the roles that uh, can be assigned for the different users. So maybe you don't want that the contributor or I don't know, the author to have access to breakdance and uh, you can limit this, but this is available in the pro version maintainers mode. In uh, this area, you can uh, create a page that you can assign it in, in here. And uh, if your website is not ready, it will display that page. Also for the login user can have access to the all site, so you can work on, on it. So this is a nice, uh, nice feature that it's offered it, it is offered in the performance tab you have some options to disable some of the things to make this uh, website faster you for instance if you are not using gutenberg css you can disable it you see you can reduce the size with about 11 kilobytes uh, you can disable pingback emojis dash icons if you're not using this to embed YouTube videos, you can also disable that. RSD links, REST API, you can remove the short link, RSS feed, rational links. So you can disable some elements that can help you have a better loading time. In here, you put the API keys for the, for the different integrations, you see that you have integration with uh, Ricapacha, you have integration with Slack, MailChimp, ActiveCampaigns, Facebook, Google Maps, and so on. Post types, so you can uh, activate this for different post types. You can in use it with uh, different post type plugins. Also, you can use it with ACF if you have uh, custom fields and things like that. You can build really complex things with the with breakdance. So right now I'll let it like this. In the advanced area, you have the options to enable the SVG upload, content filter, you can limit the revision if you want to a maximum number, to not bloat your, your uh, database. You have the privacy, to disable the page view and session count if you want. Here you have the design library. You can uh, uh, you can create this website as a design library set if you want. Custom codes in here you can add the header codes and footer code. For instance, you can add your Google Analytics tracking code to see the no, the visitors and so on. And in the tools. You have some options to regenerate the CSS to the to do a reset in case uh, you are moving this from one domain to another one to replace the the URL. You have the options to export the settings and import them if you want. So yeah, these are in in big the the, the settings. So for instance, let's see exactly what this has. So if you want, for instance, to add a header, you just need to go under headers and add a header in here. I will create my header and uh, everywhere you can activate it in single posts, categories, or as you, as you want, you can ap apply conditions if you want, you have the priority in here. So you see that you have different conditions, but they are for mostly for the, for the pro options, you see, you can assigned to different authors or post types. You have also some free one that you can assign. For instance, you can choose different posts uh, 
post IDs that you can assign this and uh, yeah I will not assign anything I just wanted to, to show you I will add a header and remember this is the free free one and uh, yeah for the free one right now we just need to go and edit with breakdance and you can easily add an uh, header element so in here you see that you have all the ele elements that can be added so you have the basic ones you have the grid div section you have the blocks one that can add Im image chairmark list so there are about 130 that you can you can uh, utilize some more of them are free another are uh, pro so yeah it depends on the version that you are having but also in the free you have the basic one that you can utilize to create your your website so for instance for the header you have the header builder that can can be used which is available in in pro and you have also the library and in here you have like uh, the, the design set test that you can uh, utilize so for instance you have uh, some headers in here if you search for header you have some headers that you can utilize there are some predefined one that can be can be installed easily so let me import first the global settings and we'll import this this header so yeah you see in here that uh, the header was imported you have the logo in the left side in here you have the menu in here you have two buttons and in here you can uh, create a menu and assign it if you want from WordPress I will create one just to have it in here and have what to, to test I will show you also the pro options that I have on my website so we go in appearances menu so I will just create a dummy menu in here to, to have the details okay let me arrange it a little let me save this okay so the menu is saved right now what we're going to to do is to go back into the breakdance and in here we have the headers and if we edit our header we can choose the menu that we've created so you see in here it was already added the, the the menu it has a nice effect in here so this is done with the free option right now for instance if we're gonna go and check what we have in here you should be able to see that the menu was added so this menu it's using something that it's pro that's why you have this message in here you see it's uh, telling you that the wrapper link and header builder it's uh, it's used and that's why you have this okay and the other thing that you can do is to add a footer for this let's go and edit this so I will go back and in here in breakdance footers we're gonna go and add a footer everywhere same as before and in here you can edit it again you can add section and you can create the footer you you want but uh, yeah i will add from the library i can search it in here and in here again you can add what footer you you like so i like this one you can see in here that you can edit it in you have a left side menu in here that it can be utilized and in here you have the structure with everything that uh, it's used so for instance we're gonna go to settings in here we have the layout that with the alignment you have the background that you can change the color for instance these are the color presets used you can 
change the color to anything you, you want. I will let the default one. Here you have the options to change the text color for heading text, links, brand, sizing, spacing, to add space and so on. So this is has a lot of nice features and I will let also a page into the video descriptions that will help you with some resources where you can find a lot of tutorials for breakdance. Also in the advanced, you have the advanced options, you can add your own CSS, in here you can add your own classes if you want, and uh, you have other advanced options if you search for them in, in here. Again, for columns, you can you have the similar options for text, again you have the uh, similar options, in here you have the solution text, and in here you have the options to change the color, you see in here, the uppercase, the preset to be exactly as you as you like so yeah you have a lot of options in here that can utilize in here you see you have the form builder for this that was added you have the social icons in here that were added so yeah we can navigate with the structure and in the left side you have the the element uh, properties that you can utilize in the library we're gonna go and create a page so you can see exactly how easy it is so let me go and create a page and we can edit it with breakdance so if we are gonna go to pages add new let's go and add a home page so you have a home page we're gonna publish it and in here you see that we have the options to edit it in breakdance. So we're gonna do that. So right now we have the header, we have the footer added, and we can add elements to the to the page. So for instance, we can go and add the an uh, library element. Again, in here you have, for instance, uh, portfolio items with different layout formats that can be used and added to the to the page with sliders and everything. Of course, this is like for pro users because we'll utilize pro, pro, pro details. In here we have the tabs and you can add various tabs if you if you want. Let's go and search for a hero. New. Okay, contact. Let's search for hero and titles in here. So you see you can uh, add various heroes you have a few in here that can get you started so for instance if you like this one we can do it add to page and you see that it was added in here it has everything you need if you go and uh, check the structure you see the things that were added in here so it is a section column element then you have the text element you have the heading element, text, that is for this text in here, a status grid, that it's like this. You have another column with an image that was, was added, and in here you have the details. You have a logo slider, you see the logos are here and they are just slide sliding. Okay. So if you want to go for instance and add another element from the library, you can go and search. Let's go and add some info boxes for instance. I like this, let me add it. So yeah, you can go and search the in the free option and see exactly what it has to, to offer. If you want to, to check all the library elements. So yeah, for instance, if you want, you can create a section yourself. You can add and go to here and can add a section, for instance, like this. And for instance, if you want to, to add a section that uh, has uh, columns, you can do so and you can choose the column size to be uh, equal or to have three, four with uh, smaller in the left, bigger 
in the left in here so you add it like this so for instance if you want to add a header to this you can do it like this you can add the header in here and here you can change the color for instance if you want to make it blue like this you can change the alignment if you want of the header you can change the font family font size if you want seeing in here you have the width you can apply spacing so let's add another one a text one in here you can input your text if you if you want again if you want you can change the color alignment everything the alignment is also controlled from the section you can go into here and you can change the layout if you want for this alignment vertical alignment horizontal alignment you see in here you can align it to the middle center and so on and in here you can add for instance also button if you want so yeah you can create everything as you as you like and yeah you can add space if you want for for this things are quite easy to to do and in here you can add an image for instance let me see nothing in, in media library let's see if i can add an image in here i have an image with uh, with me that i'm using so yeah you can add an image like this you can change for instance the background of this let me change it so you can do it like this or like this and change the text color then in here you can go and put it white put it white in here like this yeah so you can uh, modify it as as you like in here you have then the column options that you can utilize to to change you see that you can change this to to go to the to the middle depending of what you want so i'll hit save and right now I will go to check the page and see how it's looking. So it should be with uh, home. So you see that this is the site that it was just created in a couple of minutes. This is the predefined hero. And this is the one that I've created the image in here you have this box you have the, the footer another thing that can uh, be useful in here are the global settings so in here you have the global settings in here you can set your colors for the brand text headings links background you can add palettes if you have other colors for your brand or gradients you can add them in here and can easily choose them so this is very nice because it's uh, offer a good standard in here you can set your uh, buttons so you see here that you have the background you have the colors for the links for the backgrounds to set uh, the primary and the secondary button you, for the typography you have in here the fonts that you can uh, change and, and use you can uh, change the base size the ratio you can also add presets in here if you are using different fonts for different uh, different elements you can add this as preset and easily select them have the form uh, fields that you can uh, use so for instance if you add a form like this it will utilize the details that are in, uh, in this configured with panning and everything in the container you have the 
container width, the padding, horizontal padding, so we can assign them. In here you can add your own CSS or scripts if you want. Yeah, and yeah, that that is the global settings. So right now, for instance, if we're gonna go into my website and we're going to, to check in here some of the things, let's let me log in. Upidas.com. I've created a header with the plugin, and you see that the menu in, in here it has a nice one that it has a nice effect, and in here we have one with some icons. Uh, same in, in here, and this is like uh, some of uh, the designs that I've chosen. You can easily add your blog post in, in here, you can create custom things. So we're gonna check also that. So if we're gonna go to the blog, this is the default one. I didn't change it. It's looking quite nice. And let's check an article. I created a layout design with uh, breakdance, and you can easily create uh, layout design for your post. So in here, here I have a title title with a category, the image in the right side. In here I have a table of content that it's sticky. Here is the text and in here you have like the related posts that were added and they are sticky. And the end I, I have a call to action with uh, a link to one of my courses. So yeah, you can create this very easily. So if we're gonna go to the breakdance, you'll see in here that in headers, we will have the header that it's uh, set up. So if we're gonna edit in breakdance, you see in here that uh, this is the UPDOS header. If we're gonna check the structure, you're gonna sit in here. You have the menu drop down for this, the menu the header builder with the menu wrapper with the menu builder and in here we have the menu links these ones that are just uh, starting links and the menu drop down for instance in here you see that for the categories it's uh, like this and in here you have the block categories and in here you just add them you choose the icon you put the description so it's very very easy to to build you can create as many columns as as you want so yeah it has a really nice an easy to build header. Another thing that it's created in, in here, it's the template. So we're gonna check the template and in here you'll see, for instance, for the single post one that it's assigned to the single post. So this is the template. So you, you see in here the structure. So you have the, the section and here you have a, a header. In here I have the post uh, content with the modified date. And in here we should have an image. You can choose uh, what post you want. If you want to, to see how it's it's looking. And in here you have the table of content that it's added. So if we are going to, to check the, the section, it's columns. And in here you have the table of content element with some sticky related posts. And in here we have the post content that it's it's added. And in here you have the call to action that was added so you can easily create any design you want for your blog post if you if you want you can create global uh, blocks so this global block for instance is used in the post loop you see in in here this is the cta that is created and this is the post image with title so you've seen that uh, let me you see that this these posts in here are created with that global block, and if we're going to check it, you'll see that this global block is is basically an image with a post title that has this. It has overlay for the for the image, so it's quite easy to configure everything in breakdance. You don't need a lot of time to to do it, and also if, for instance, I've created here an page with the breakdown builder resources so in here you have like a, a header with the get breakdance this is the affiliate link with the logo and in here you have the some elements that others created that you can extend 
the breakdown functionality and you can build faster websites and uh, these are some video tutorials that were were added also in here there are some codes and the contact form and if we're going to check this that was built with uh, breakdance quite quite fast to see the the performance if we're going to to test it is in here page speed inside the results for the mobile looks quite good it has like 100 percent so things are moving uh, very very fast in here even if we for instance let me go and take this let me open a new incognito to not be logged in and in here for instance if we're gonna hit the inspect and we're gonna go to the network to see the load and what are the resources you are going to see that for instance you have like 33 requests that were made and 170 kilobytes were trans transferred and 597 kilobytes of resources were loaded and this took about 1.6 one, one, 1. seconds to, to load there aren't a lot of uh, data that is loaded into the into the background by the by this page builder that's why it's quite nice because it's uh, very fast and it doesn't slow down your uh, website so you see that uh, when you go down it will load also the youtube videos and the rest of the the content so yeah breakdance builder is quite fast the big difference that it is between Elementor and this one of course is the performance and the other thing is that you don't need a lot of elements or plugins to, to build your website so you have everything uh, uh, included so you can even create uh, like membership websites if we are going to to check the breakdance channel you'll see there that uh, you can uh, you have a video where uh, the the breakdance team it's creating a membership website without anything with only the woocommerce and uh, then the breakdance can help you create the membership website so you don't need additional plugins you can also create a course website with breakdance without any additional plugin only with woocommerce to sell your your courses if you want and yeah with uh, acf so yeah this uh, page builder it has a lot of nice features another thing that you should uh, take into consideration is the fact that uh, the libraries available for uh, breakdance they are not as big as the elementor ones so you will not uh, find a lot of templates for it uh, but you can easily build your own templates you have like a few that uh, are created and are coming with a pro and also there are some forms that develop elements and templates so for instance if you are going to check this free one in here you see that uh, there are for instance this course landing page that is totally free that it can be utilized so you just copy the header for instance if you want to copy the header or you can copy these elements and you just paste it in a breakdance so you have uh, some elements and uh, pages templates that can can help you get going so yeah in case you you want to to know about them or to know it you can go my uh, to the link you vidas.com breakdance resources and you can check them them out in here i placed them and some uh, videos with some snippets from with code that i'm using and uh, yeah I will let the link into the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like it if you are interested in such content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.